Freddie, how does the blockchain distribution network that Ori just touched on interface with the block daemon API? And then what are the benefits of some of this integration uh, for developers and end users? Right. Um, so as Yuri explained very, uh, you know, um, enthusiastically, let's say, <laughs> uh, and, I, and I love him. I love him for that. Always has been, always will be, I think. Um, so um, we integrated this, this, this BDN, this mempool access basically into the Ubiquity API. And so that allows basically the benefits to all of our users being a developers or traders or whoever might be using our API to number one, send their transactions faster, so they propagate faster in the network, and they also enable the, the mempool streaming, so the, the fast viewing of you know, what is happening on the network in almost real time, right? And so that, that, that's the advantage that, so basically we, we upgraded our service from being one node of many in, in the, you know, like, like the average fish in the pond, now, now we're the quickest, right? Uh, and thanks thanks to Blockstrout integration for that. And I even like adding on that, I think one of the things that are working well for us in Blockstrout is that we have like this nice, nice network effect that we are the fastest. And so people using us, connecting to us, and then they see information fast and they send information fast. But then the more people who join us, the faster we become. And this kind of like feeds itself. So at this point, this basically allows block daemon. If you're a block daemon user, it's as if you're connected to all the nodes out there in the world. And so like, if you want your transaction to be sent to everybody extremely fast to the block builders and to the validators, or if you want to hear from them, it's literally just as if you had, as if you were running a hundred nodes and trying to connect and literally connect with all the important nodes out there. So that's one important thing to say. And another thing, an interesting metric, which a lot of people aren't even aware that it is a metric and it is important, is something called the inclusion rate. If you send a transaction, a lot of the times you want it in the next block. Okay, it's kind of like, this is the latest price. This is the current situation I want to buy or I want to sell or I want to mint or I don't want whatever you want to do, but you want it to happen now. And a lot of the time, especially for institutionals, it's kind of like, oh, price is dumping. I don't care how much it costs or anything like that. Here's a position. I have 10 million or a hundred million. Like sell it now. I don't care if it costs ten dollar or a hundred dollar or a thousand or ten thousand. Like make it go now. And if with the current design of MEV and block builders, if you just send it to one block builder, let's say you're sending it to the largest block builder. Okay, you're sending it to 0x69, he's producing 30% of all blocks out there. That means you're sending him your transaction and there's 30% chance it will be mined in the next block. But on average, it will take like the expected, on average, it will take you three blocks to get included. We run a block builder, but when we get private transactions, people are going to be we actually send it to all the other block builders as well. Again, we're a service provider. I'm not actually trying that hard to make money from our block builder. Like, you know, it would be nice to make money from that as well. But when we get from our users, private rent, we send it to all the block builders. So our inclusion rate is roughly one. Basically, give it to us, we give it to everybody, all the block builders who are participating in this, and it would be in the next block. Um, and so for a lot of users, this is a very important metric that like, like they could benefit from. And even people who are deep in DeFi and MEV aren't like, they don't even think in these kind of terms because a lot of the time, the people who are deepening aren't necessarily the users. This is something that we're providing. And if you're a user of block team and you're benefiting from this integration. Right, right. And I, I agree. And you, you, you put it very nicely with the inclusion rate and, and how important that is. And the, the nice part that you said, it's, it's like a win-win, right? Because by connecting all of our block team nodes, and we have quite a few, obviously, that network gets faster. So there's, there's a benefit, there's a mutual benefit, right? For, uh, and that, that I think is the, the best uh, basis for for partnerships always has been so um, yeah yeah I think that's, when the that's when the whole is how do you say it in English that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts or like there's a quicker more concise way to think it but that phrase so it's kind of like that I think working together actually benefits eventually the user right like we all like our you know magical money that we made up 
like and then like yield farming and mints or whatnot. But eventually, this needs to be useful for somebody. Like, and that's kind of like we we want to make DeFi useful. We want people who are participating right. in like like benefit from it. And and particularly, I think in the institu institutional space, you know, you you get measured by the value that you you provide to to them, right? So there's no. Like they're very serious about this, obviously, um, and they have to be in, in different, you know, aspects of it. But yeah, this is, uh, you know, all about regulation and conservative, but also because they're professional buyers in a sense, right? They, they know what they're looking for. And basically, you have to build the best product uh, in, in order to, to make their, you know, RFP or something, you know, because they actually have a process for this and not just like some DeFi FOMO or whatever. <laughs> uh, I, I, yes. I think I think the integration from Blockstart into uh, the Block Demon API makes this product more compelling, adds some value to the BDN itself as well. So I, I think that's uh, that's a pretty nice way to to collaborate.